The idea behind Solomon is simple. We extract depreciation from the market, then calculate market-based adjustments using the depreciated replacement cost method. We believe it is more credible to estimate market value than guess at depreciation. So we start with an estimate of market value. We don't want to pick a market value estimate out of thin air, so let's look at the comps and see if we have a good basis for an estimate. The subject has two bathrooms, 1,600 square feet of GLA, and a two-stall garage. Here's a close, recent house with the same site size, a little bit smaller, only has one bath and a one-stall garage. Um, comp 2 looks like a perfect match. Comp 3 has an in-ground pool, a little bit larger. Um, it's a good comp, but we'll use the 200,000 number as our estimate of market value. For site value, let's take a look at that from three possible angles. Uh, we have no recent lot sales in this fully developed neighborhood. Uh, the second way would be to look for the um, allocation method, see how it applies to the median price of 183. 30% LTV seems like that's land of value. That seems like a pretty good number in our market. So that yields 54.9. Uh, the assessor estimate is 58. So we will assume $57,000 for a good estimate of the site value. As is value of site improvements, we'll say $5,000 considering we have a, um, a two wide concrete driveway in good shape and a decent patio. So $57,000, five, zip code, quality rating of four, that's a good standard, 1,600 square feet GLA, Click yes because heated and central airspace is the same as the GLA. There's no basement, fireplace, deck, or porches, but we do have a 24 by 24 garage, so 576. Now when we click calculate, all of our assumptions for market value, land value, etc., together with our sketch information for the GLA, the garage size, that's all translated into cost. And these are numbers we can use throughout the report. Economic life is 60 years. That's a specification in the cost data. Effective age is 24 years. Remaining life is 36. Here's the uh, remaining economic life. The 24 year effective age and the 60 year lifespan. Same thing as economic life. 129.28. From right here, 4370. So we see we have an indicated value by cost approach of 201. In the reconciliation, I always make the point that the cost approach is used to calculate depreciation. On the lower right, we have the adjustment calculations. The left column has default adjustments. Now we have no basement, so we can zero out basement, basement finish, and um, all of the comps have at least one garage stall, so we can zero that out. Click calibrate, and now we have the adjustments to use in the report. Um, notice we need a full bath adjustment, and we don't have one because it wasn't included in the cost profile of the subject. Well, to get that adjustment, we go up to Solomon Adjustment, enter the zip code, the quality level, the remaining life, click Calculate, and there we have it. Now back to Solomon Cost, let's say that we need a deck or a porch adjustment. In that case, we can enter it right here in the cost profile. Click Calculate, and we'll see we have the adjustments here. Now, the reason we can do that 
um, in Solomon cost is because this $36 and this uh, 27 don't do enough to move the needle on total cost to affect depreciation. Now another um, use of the calibration feature, let's say that the deck we know only has a remaining, excuse me, has an economic life of uh, 30 years, it doesn't have a roof. So maybe we'll scale that back to um, 50%, 30 out of 60 years. We'll get a smaller, more reasonable adjustment there. The GLA number, that might look high to you. It depends on the age of the house. We don't want to double adjust. And the GLA does include categories such as decorating, which has only maybe a 10-year shelf life. It has two or three roofs, maybe um, one replacement siding job and one replacement window job. So this number overstates the GLA adjustment if there are condition adjustments in the report or if all the houses are older. Now in my experience I found something between 60 and 80 percent for previously owned homes, let's say 70 right here. And that number is something that you will find by doing sensitivity analysis in the grid that you're working on. Click Calibrate. Now we have a GLA adjustment of 38, the deck at 9, open porch at $18 per foot, screen porch at $27 a foot. Let's say we don't need those after all. Print the report. Over here we have all of the assumptions that went into building the cost profile, the market value estimate, land value, uh, all the sketch data. In the center, we have everything that was used to develop the cost approach. Here's that dwelling number, the garage number, the remaining economic life, site value. Um, here's an interesting one. Here's the $94,000 of depreciation that we calculated. Subtracting the depreciation from cost new, we get the depreciated cost. If you do the math, you will find that depreciated cost is 60% of cost new, just like remaining economic life is 60% of economic life. It all works together. Over on the right, the adjustment calculations. The GLA is scaled back due to short-lived items like decorating and the roof. And we've got the additional garage stall. Here are some explanations so people can see what's going on behind the numbers. Thanks for your interest in our approach to depreciated replacement cost. We think you will find it to be a fast, repeatable, and consistent way to build a solid work file and help you deliver credible opinions.